welcome to Under the Hood. Our, this is our first show. <laughs> this is our first show, and uh, it'll basically be interviewing members of the School of Molecular Bioscience and maybe other members of the scientific community and learning more about behind the scenes or behind the science as it were. I'm Marge. I'm Bish. We'll welcome our first guest. Who better to have on our first show than Dan the Man, Hi. the face of SMB, Dan Haggard. Welcome. Thanks for that introduction, Marge and Bish. Good to be here. Good to have you here. Let's we'll start off the way that you started off. Sure. At SMB. What brought you to us? Uh, I was broke and had no money and was oh, about two nice. grand in debt on my credit card. Um, so Amy got me a job here at SMB and I didn't die <laughs> from storage. So you could say SMB saved your life? SMB saved my life, literally. So did you have any preconceived notions about what scientists were like before arriving? Yes, yes I did. What, what was it? Um, that they were weird and cranky. I find S&B scientists to be nicer than um, most of the other you know, so. Do you think it has something to do with the fact that we're encouraged to collaborate a lot more than, say, like... Writers? Yeah, Maybe writers, writers or more, are more of a lonely... Yeah. yeah. More of a lonely bunch. Think of you them. can get away with a lot more in, say, in philosophy, where you can just kind of go away and... But I, I mean, I don't think anyone in philosophy would actually advise that. But you're not, you're not forced into a lab environment in the same way. It, it just depends on the culture of the, the group you're working, you're working with more, as opposed to science, where you have to work in a lab. You have to, you have to get along together enough to get the, the science done. So, um, philosophy. I mean, I think they, they do try and encourage people to get together and work together and go to seminars and. Talking things out and lots of stuff, and there's a community of people trying to work to do that, but I don't think it's anywhere near as successful as what we see in typical land. I'm sure there's always like people asking for help with techniques and just borrowing oh. the agents, where it's can't be like, I need to borrow the theory of yours. Can I have some more theory? Yeah. I'm so low on theory right now, and I need some more theory. Yeah. Does anyone have some theory to spare? Yeah, I'm running out of And the answer logic. with this is always is yes, yes. They've got theory coming out of their eyeball. Yeah. Can I play your novel? The theory, it's in back. Like, they've ordered it, but it hasn't come in yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's back ordered. I'll, I'll replace it when we get ours in. Yeah. Do you feel like the work environment is a lot more stressful than when you were previously? Yeah, I mean, it's got, well, no, I think coming into work at SMB, I was the most stressful whole period of my life. Um, I was doing a PhD and I uh, wasn't really working out. So that was horrible. So it's certainly better than that um, and continues to be, but there's been staffing cuts since I've been here and also scope creep in terms of what I do. Um, so I kind of feel the job has increased in stress over time, but they are working to address that with increasing staff in the admin area. So hopefully that will resolve soon. Have you heard if we are if we are getting a fruit Friday during tea time? Oh, a fruit Friday? No, I, 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 there's no official moves toward that. No, that's because I started it and I haven't really made an official request. But now I am. So now fruit Friday is a new... Once a month, instead of biscuits, let's just have some fruit. That's a great idea. I agree. That could be the strategy that you need to get nutrition people to come to tea. <laughs> that would be think. good. Is that why they don't come to tea? I have biscuits. no idea why they don't come to tea. <laughs> but we need to get a nutritionist though. Oh, that's, 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 we'll get to that. So, Dan is also a purveyor of amazing emails that he sends around to us in the building about stuff that's happening, lost the keys. It's true, they are amazing. And, and here we have some excerpts from, oh a, from a few of the emails. Something that happens quite often is people leave their keys by the coffee machine. So here's one of Dan's emails. Come unlock the inner awesome to your own mind with this limited edition coffee key found recently nearby the coffee machine. Think harder, faster, better than you ever did before you owned a coffee key. 
This amazing product is currently retailing for the low, low price of being already owned by you. <laughs> Here's a limerick he wrote about keys. <laughs> I remember this one. <laughs> there once was a fellow named Lee who never remembered his keys. So he thought he would try, attach them to his eye, but now he can no longer see. <laughs> That's a great one. Um, do you feel like you always have to be witty in every email? There is a little bit of pressure yeah. these days. Yeah, you, um, you built it up that way. Yeah, and I gotta admit, like, you know, because I've used up my A material, <laughs> um, it's kind of getting harder and harder to top the last ones, the previous ones. But, you know, it's hard um, being finding outlets for creativity uh, in the S and B all email format. You know, I think <laughs> I've taken the genre to its limits and, and beyond. Yeah, you've pushed it. You've I've pushed, pushed, I've pushed that envelope yeah, I mean, as far as it goes. Thank you for you know, pushing the boundaries of what I think an email can be. Yeah, look and sound like. I mean, I think it's okay to sometimes eat pizza. No, well, we have decided to sort of, with you, start a tradition that the guest that we have on the day gets to select, gets to pick a name out of the magical PhD coffee okay. mug. So it's PhD students in there? No, it's names of people in the building. Oh, okay. Staff, students, academics, everything. And whoever, and whoever you pick, I haven't put all the names in here, it's just a, li a little sprinkle from each discipline mm -hmm. um, and category. So whoever you pick, we will approach to meet us at the next episode of Under the Hood. Cool. Hopefully they will accept. <laughs> Hopefully they will. The cup has spoken. <laughs> it's like a sorting hat. <laughs> Do you want me to read it out? Yes, please. Yes. So we can have proof. Uh, it's our illustrious head of school, uh, Professor Ian Campbell. Wow. Well, that is Being a on the second. Order. Pick again. <laughs> we'll decide, but pick again. <laughs> right. For our second episode, it's, it's kind of big. It's our um, illustrious head of school, Ian Campbell. I can't believe you put his name in there twice. Did what? I? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? It's Anna. A -A -A. Oh, it, yeah. It's a postdoc in the Mackay lab. Oh, okay, that sounds good. One. So that's good. She's she's from Portugal. That's and, great. Um, yeah. I think she would she would come. She's a lady. She is a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. She, she's a lady, definitely. <laughs> um, and a and a great scientific lady, I hear. So that'll be good. Looking forward to it. So we'd like to just close off by asking you, we started with how you arrived at SMB. I wanted to know, what would it take for you to leave SMB? Um, I guess a job offer with, you know, approximately same or better conditions, and um, <laughs> that would probably be it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, no funny email there, but yeah, I, um, <laughs> it was very reasonable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I guess it is kind of a serious question once I asked it. What would the, ideal then do? Ideal world. Oh, dream God. job. Dream like, job. There's in. so many like possibilities of ideality for Dan. Um, we could do a book of like a collection of Dan's emails. We could like a, make a little. We've already scene. started. Or a little quote yeah. book like we like they put together that. for Albert Einstein, you know, like things that you know, quotes yeah, from is. Albert Einstein. I have a little book. We could put it together, Dan one. Yeah, maybe. I mean, why does a book have to be like you know, uh, a to a to z of like narrative? It just could be you know, one chapter could be some emails wrote, another chapter could be like a short story. Here are um, some text messages. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's messages. I've written some great SMSs in my time. Um, you know, and the next, you know, maybe I could just randomly have a picture of a jacket I wore when I was <laughs> um, 17. I still have that jacket. It's a good jacket. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks it was an honor. Helping us yeah, organize you know, set up the yeah. AV. Yeah. Um, All right, well, until the next time of Under the Hood. Go with the Namina flow. Namina. Hmm? I was just joining in. Yeah. This is like after the show tap chat. We're not really on <laughs> right now, but we're on. Yeah, the sound isn't working. We're just like, hey, <laughs> This was the worst show ever. <laughs> that was good.